Hey, y'all. I was coming with a reaction, this reaction right here, because I think I thought that it was very important. And when making a decision, you know, I always talk about making decisions because that's what we do in everyday life. Now, uh, you already know what time it is, okay? Now, this Alabama football player, y'all, come on now, football player, scholarship, okay? Car was stopped because he knew that it was some consequences that was about to take place when he decided to do what he was about to do. Now, the police got behind him. Okay? A half a pound of weed, a gun found in this Alabama college football car after pursuing driving 140, 141 miles per hour. And then he turned around and he know the consequences behind his action. He's cried and, and he apologized. Now, I don't know his situation and I don't know what he's going through. But he knows what he's going through. So he should have weighed his options. Let's take a look at this. An Alabama football player breaks down in tears after he led cops on a high-speed chase and was arrested on charges of marijuana possession. Police body camera footage shows freshman defensive back Tony Mitchell and his wild traffic stop on March 15th <coughs> in Holmes County, Florida. Officials say Mitchell evaded police driving at 141 miles per hour to escape. When officers finally caught up with him and pulled him over, he denied the escape attempt. You didn't just run for me? Body camera video then shows the officer asked Mitchell to place his keys on top of the car. Do you have the key pad to the car? Okay. Yeah. The keys to the car. Yeah. Okay. The officer told him he didn't have to talk. He's sitting here thinking about his future now. He didn't think about his future at first when he went and got that pound of weed. That, got, that officer cared less if he goes to jail or what. Because of those are the decisions he should have been making. Now he's sitting here talking. Crying. You know, son, it was in your car. Anything in your car, it belongs to you. I told y'all about the six steps of decision making. First of all, you're a football player. You're on a scholarship. Now what you going to do? What you going to do? Because you're about to lose that scholarship. After the school find out what you don't did, you better pray, Alabama college football player. You better do some praying, bro. Because if you go to jail, that's it. That's a crime. You just committed a crime. Young people, y'all young folks in y'all 20s, y'all got to think. Y'all setting yourself up for failure because you don't want to believe what old people who don't been through what you go through 
goes through. I already been through. We already done been through this. Now your career is over. The look on your face when you said gun told me you didn't know there was a gun in that car. That's so hard. It's all right, man. All right, now. Look at, look at. Now he crying. You know, okay, you just got a, you just got that car for your birthday. You just got that beautiful car for your birthday. And then do you hear what, did y'all hear what the cop said? It's fast too. Well, you won't be driving no time soon. Okay. You know, I believe they Mitchell, uh, I believe those Mitchell's uh, drugs, y'all, because he looked like he uh, had an anxiety to me. It was Lewis's idea to, quote, punch it and speed off from officers. Well, can I ask you a question? Yes. And I'm, I'm not going to charge you for it or anything like that, okay? I'm just going to you got a word. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm not going to charge you for it. situation before and like with everything he had he was just telling me to go and like like hey so that's why you just, you just panic and punch it uh -huh. see you see let me tell you something baby when you have a career don't nobody else care about your career but you so dude but I guarantee you the dude who told him to keep going they're not even in school. So you got caught up with your own decision making. Mitchell asks what will happen if his friend admits to everything. I got a question. Yeah, say you did like all that to everything, like what I would I be Anything with the gun, he's catching the gun charge. He's denying the marijuana. 
You know, um, everything belongs to this dude right here, y'all. I already knew that it belongs to him. And he wanted that dude to take all them charges. See, when you when you are in a situation and you know you are in the school, number one, the situation was the police got behind you. Okay, number one in decision making. Now he's a college student, so he already know this. Why is it important for this young man to make a decision, y'all? Now, come on now, uh, real deals. Y'all know we're about busy and educated over here now. Why is it important for this young man to have made a decision? Hmm? Based on his uh, values. Based on this young man's values, because he just told y'all 